Hello, everybody. Um, we are going to start in some minutes. I'm just trying to fix some things in my computer. So give me a moment and I'll be back. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Okay, everybody, uh, welcome to the class for tonight. Uh, we're going to start with a topic that, that I have prepared for you um, uh, for tonight. Um, as you know, uh, we are missing just one session, uh, and then you're going to be free. Um, Tonight, we're going to see the, the, the last topic and we're going to check the all the information in the platform that you have. Uh, also, I will try to solve some things that, that, uh, that you have been asking me during this day. And also, uh, we're going to see some exercises that need to be solved and we had some problems with them. Let me um, let me show you right now uh, the web page. Oh, I haven't started the video. Okay, 
Can you see me? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sure. Okay, very yes. good. Well, um, here I have the web page. Uh, give me a second, because I need to go to the dashboard. Well, let's see, I, I seem here to Mr. Ramirez. Uh, welcome, Mr. Evaristo, uh, Ms. Sandoval, eh, mi, Mr. Torres, Ms. Vidal, Ms. Gabriela, eh, and who else? Ms. Lopez. Okay, welcome to all of you to this, um, to this class, to this video class. I'm sharing with you right now the, the web page of the platform. And we are going to see the section number five. In the section number five, um, we have the, 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 the unit that it says the past and the future. Okay. Um, the objective for this uh, class, it says that at the end of this class, participants will be able uh, to refer to a time in past using different ways, okay? This is an information that you already know, okay? This is an information that um, you have been, have been practicing uh, and we are missing just the video, okay? I will play this video and please let me know if you can listen uh, the audio and then we're going to be discussing, okay? Um, let me play this. World War II take. Okay. Give me a second. That's not working. Can you can you hear the audio? Hi. We want to. Can you hear? Can you listen the audio of this video? Yes. Okay. Uh, so I will play it and then we're going to be discussing. Go back in time. We will explain. Hi, we want to go back in time. We will explain how we can refer to it. Don't go and stay for the explanation. Get ready. Okay. Referring to time in the past. A point of time in the past. When did World War II take place? During the 1940s. In the 1940s. Over 60 years ago. A period of time in the past. How long were the Beatles together? From 1960 to 1970. For 10 years. A period of time that continues into the present. How long has the United Nations been in existence? Since 1945. Since World War II ended. For about the last 60 years. When we want to talk about a point of time in the past, we may use the words in. A okay, I, I want it. to stop here. I want to stop here. Why? Because here we have three different um, uh, ways to refer time in the past. In the first one, it says that it is a point of time in the past, and a specific point of time. We want to refer something in a specific life um, during the, the, the 40s, okay? Or in the uh, 1940s or over the 60 years ago. Okay, we're referring in that case to an specific, um, a, a specific time. Okay, in the past. Uh, for instance, if, if I say, um, uh, well, if I ask you, um, what is the last event that happened, uh, uh, an important event that happened here in El Salvador? Okay, can you can you tell me something about that? Can you remember a, a, an, an event that happened here in El Salvador? Okay, and, and then I will ask you. Can you remember? 
Yes. Okay. I remember. No, but uh, what, I, what I'm asking you is if you can tell me uh, an important event that happened here in El Salvador. Something that you can remember. Something. It could be anything. I mean, could, could be something. Yeah. Okay, uh, the Civil War, for instance. I guess some of you maybe, uh, maybe uh, live in a, in a Civil War here in El Salvador. Okay, so that's, that's, the, that's the, the main thing. Uh, no, I will ask you, do you know uh, when did the Civil War take place? Do you know when <coughs> did the Civil War take place? I don't have the, the date, uh, but I think that it's uh, between the uh, 1985 to 1990. Okay, okay, very good, excellent. Yes, that, that's a good answer. We can say in the, uh, um, if we want to refer to in a specific team, we can say in the 80s, okay? Okay, or in the 90s, that's depend uh, when it takes place. Okay, so that's that's one way to, to answer that. Or for instance, we can say during the, uh, the, the 80s. Or uh, if we think about this, could be like um, over, well, 30 years ago, over 30 years ago. That's right, right? So it, it, we, are, we are here referring to a specific point in, in, in time. Okay, in this case, that point is in the past. Uh, then we have another one that it says a, a period of time that continues into the present, okay? That means that something happened, but continues in the present, okay? So, uh, and here we have an example of equation, and it says, how long has the United Nations been in existence, okay? So, uh, if, we, if I want to ask you, for instance, uh, uh, an event here in, in El Salvador could be uh, let me see okay for instance how long has the democracy been uh, in existence here in El Salvador okay how long has our democracy been in existence here in El Salvador. Okay, can you tell me that? Can you tell me, um, or can you answer that question? Hold on has our democracy in El Salvador been in existence? Okay. Can you tell me that answer? Does anybody here that can tell me that? Repeat that question, please. Okay. How long has our democracy been uh, or democracy here in El Salvador been in existence, okay? Or how long has our democracy been in existence here in El Salvador, okay? I'm not sure if I'm confused, but was 1821? No, that's the independent day. Okay, uh, uh, one answer to it could be since 
1992. Okay. Teacher, the year was who wrote the piece. Oh, 1994, right? 90, it's uh, 94. Yes. Thank you. Okay, 1994. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, so another another way to say that um, could be since the civil war. Okay, that's another way to express something. Since the civil war. Okay. Or for about the last 30 years. That, that could be the answer if, if I ask you that question. How long has or democracy uh, here in El Salvador been in existence? Okay. So that th those uh, answers that I've been giving to you, or that, that were given to you, um, can be used to answer that question. Okay. A period of time that continues into the present. Okay, because our democracy is still uh, um, happening in, in our country. Okay, and then we have the third one that it says a period of time in the past. A period of time in the past. Um, and he, he, here we have a question. It says, how long were the Beatles together? How long were the Beatles together? Okay. So the answer for these questions is from 1960 to 1970, for 10 years, okay? We have uh, two ways to answer that question. Is it clear what I'm saying? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Well, there we have those, those uh, uh, three ways uh, that we can use for referring to time in the past to to be for something specific in a, in a specific point of time in the past it could be for a period of time that continues into the present or a period of time in the past okay so we are going to for about uh, the finish uh, uh, listening I mean watching this video and then uh, we're going to be discussing again, okay? So please pay attention. Last 60 years. When we want to talk about a point of time in the past, we may use the words in, ago, during. I will give you some examples using a timeline. Rock and roll became popular about 50 years ago. Disco became a craze in 1975. Madonna was on the music scene during the 1990s. A period of time that continues into the present, using since and for. The United Nations has existed since 1945. The United Nations has existed for over 60 years. Remember, we use since plus a point of time. Example, since last year, since Tuesday, and we use for plus a length of time. For example, for two weeks, for three hours. A period of time in the past using from, to, and for. World War I lasted from 1914 to 1918. World War II lasted for four years. After the explanation, we want you to type examples using ago, since, and for. Okay, so we're going to, de to do this exercise um, and we're going to be practicing uh, this. This is going to be an, uh, an individual activity and we're going to be using the whiteboard later but this is going to be um, an individual activity, as I said. Uh, it says type examples using a goal since M4. Okay, using these three um, uh, ways of referring time in, in the past. Uh, is it clear the instruction? We're going to write three sentences using a goal since M4. 
And this one must be uh, related to the three ways that um, we have uh, for referring time in past. Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Okay, so go ahead. It's going to be an individual activity. Uh, you are going to have just four minutes, four minutes. And if you need an extra time, I will give you one minute more. But uh, at the beginning, we are going to have just four minutes. Okay, so go ahead, write those examples. Could be uh, short uh, sentences. Don't, um, don't use uh, long sentences. It's better if you use uh, short sentences, okay? So go ahead, I uh, will give you the, the four minutes and those start right now. After you finish, please post your examples in the chat of this video conference, okay? Then we're going to see the, uh, the participation. I will uh, copy and paste the information to, uh, to the whiteboard, okay? So go ahead, four minutes.
Okay, <laughs> I was. I, I didn't notice that I was muted. Okay, guys, I was asking you, um, uh, well, <clears throat> to identify uh, each of these sentences. Uh, we're going to start with the number one. It says, I start working 16 years ago. Okay. I start working 16 years ago. Can you tell me, is it that sentence correct or incorrect? Can you help me with that? Is it correct or incorrect? It's incorrect. Okay. Tell me what do we have to change, sir? Uh, it can be, I have been working with And the last, I, I don't know. Wrong or from 16 years ago? From 16 years ago. Okay. Uh, thank you, sir. Let me see. What about the rest? Do you agree or do you, do you disagree? I think is I start to work sixteen years ago. Okay, okay. Thank you. Someone else? Someone else? I think it's uh, over 16 years ago. Exactly, that, that's, that, that's what is missing. I start working uh, over 16 years ago, okay? Over, that's the word missing. To, the, the, the sentence uh, makes sense, okay? In a conversation, if I'm talking with someone, for instance, if I'm talking with Miss Lopez, and I say, I started working 16 years ago, it makes sense in the, in the conversation. But if we're going to write something uh, in a letter, for instance, must be uh, the word over, okay, to specify uh, the, the, the period of time. That's mean that I started working over 16 years ago and I'm currently working, okay? Uh, in the sentence number two, I'm, the, I'm, I'm a designer since uh, 2012. Is it correct or incorrect? I think it's correct. Yes, it is. Okay, very good. I will mark this as correct. Okay, very good. The third one, it says, my sister was called operator for uh, six months. Was called. Is it correct or incorrect? Do we have to change something here? Okay. Um, it could be my sister was a call operator. Was a call operator, okay. Okay, yeah, it could be in that way. So in this way we can solve. Uh, this. My sister was a code operator for six months. Okay, very good. In that way, is it correct? It is correct. I mean, I have started English learning 11 months ago. Okay, I have started English learning 
11 months ago. Is it correct? Should be I had the verb in past. Okay, I have. Teacher, I think I have. It's not it's not correct. This I I started English learning eleven months ago. No. No, uh, no half. Okay. Uh, well, I have to tell you that in this case, we can use have, okay? Is it correct if we, if we use have? Because this structure, all this structure, it is called past perfect. Uh, I mean, present perfect. I have star, okay? And it is correct to express in that way. I have star English learning, 11 months ago, but uh, in this case, uh, it sounds better in the way you say, but in the other way is correct. I start English learning 11 months ago, or we can say, or we can say if we want to change this sentence, it could be like, uh, I, uh, let me see, I, um, okay, it could be like I enrolled in English uh, learning or English classes uh, for around 11 months ago. Could be in that way too, if we want to change it. But, but it's, it, it's okay. Okay, I think it is, this sentence is correct. Okay, it could be in, in those two, using those two, two uh, tenses. And the next one, I practice sports since I was seven years old. Is it correct or incorrect? I practice sports since I was seven years old. I get this right. Yes, it is. Okay, I practice poor. Okay, that's mean that, uh, I, well, when if I complete the sentence, I practice, I practice poor since I was seven years old. That's mean that since I was seven years old, I'm still practicing sport. Uh, then we have, I've been practicing my conversation for two hours. Okay, I've been practicing my conversation for two hours. Is it correct or incorrect? Maybe if I have been. Okay, we're using a uh, have here. Uh, I be uh, yes, been, been, been. Okay, I've been practicing. This case is with uh, yes. Thank you. That's right. Uh, let me um, this this. Okay, I've been. I'm going to delete this and I will write it here. Been. Okay, I've been practicing my conversation for two hours. Is it correct? Uh, the next one, since 1980, the computers has been excellent tool in our lives. Is it correct? Yes or not? Is it correct? Yes or not? Since 19, uh, 80s, the computers has been ex an excellent tool in our lives. That's true. Uh, I mean, that's correct or incorrect? It's correct. It's correct. Yes, it is. Okay. It is. Well, we have completed that exercise. 
So we will check uh, the um, we're going to check the the next uh, part of this uh, of this section, and it is here. Uh, okay, it is. Uh, well, what is it here? Okay, this one. It says, by the end of these sections, participants will be able to predict future using will, future continuous, and future perfect. That's what we're going to learn during this video. This is the last video of the section because tomorrow we are going to be working just only in the final exam. We're going to be focused just on the exercise that we have there. Uh, let's see. So pay, play, I mean, pay attention to this, to this video and then we're going to discuss. Uh, so let me know if you can listen. If you cannot, uh, please let me know too. We will do so by using will, won't, future. Can you listen to the audio? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Ready to predict the future with me? We will do so by using will, won't, future continuous and future perfect. Don't forget to study and practice with a friend. Predicting the future with will. Use will to predict future events or situations. Computers will recognize any voice command. You won't need a keyboard. Use future continuous to predict ongoing actions. People will be living in cities under the ocean. Use future perfect to predict actions that will be completed by a certain time. Within 20 years, scientists will have discovered a cure for baldness. By 2050, we will have set up human communities on Mars. There are okay, um, we're going to discuss this and I want to listen to you. So uh, I want you to practice your English and you're going to tell me. What do you think about this? We're going to focus just on the, on the information that we have here. Note uh, in the uh, grammar point yet. Uh, we're going to focus just the, the examples that we have here. Let me see, uh, Mr. Ramirez, uh, can you tell me, do you think that, uh, in, well, in our era, we, we have that uh, tool that where computers recognize our voice command? Do you think that we are in that uh, time or we have to wait uh, some years to that to happen? To happen that I think uh, is uh, already for the, the computers or recognize uh, voice command. Okay, can you tell me uh, some of the examples of those tools? Okay, I, I, when we use uh, the, the Google, uh, there are uh, one microphone to says the, that you that you are looking for okay and you don't have to write okay very good uh -huh. and do you know some uh, other uh, tools oh uh, okay i i think in the with the cell phone so it's, uh, it's okay more easy to, to come on. When you use it as uh, an assistant uh, or voice on your cell phone? Okay, yes, we have some uh, voice assistants uh, in computers. Uh, for instance, we have Alexa, we have Cortana. Uh, uh, that's some computers. Uh, also, we have uh, another one that is uh, a Google Home. Okay, that's another one. 
It, that one, you can use it in your computer and also you can use it in your cell phone, in your smartphone. Uh, another one that is common is a uh, CD, okay? Those are tools that recognize our voice command. It's, that's mean that we have that now. Uh, and what about the, next, the, the second one? It says people will be living in cities under the ocean, okay? Do you think that 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 is happening right now, or do we have to wait uh, some some years? Uh -huh. I think that, that we have to to wait for. Okay. For Very that uh, sentence. Okay. We have to wait for that to happen. Uh, what do you think, Ms. Lopez? Yes, we have to wait, but I don't think it was a lot of time because right now we have a house under the heart, but the heart to water is not a big difference. So okay. I think short time. Okay, very good. Uh, and what about you, Mr. Uh, Evaristo? What do you think about it? Mm, there is a there is some some cities under the ocean, but I I, I think the people um, don't live in under the ocean. Okay. We, we have to wait for that. We have to wait for it. Yes, uh, that's true. We have to wait for it. Because um, we have some, uh, uh, well, human being is building uh, some structures under the, under the museum. Uh, I, I was checking news uh, last time and I was reading an article uh, that uh, in China, there are people who are uh, building, or near China, there are people who are building uh, 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 some rails in, in under the ocean. And it's supposed that a train is going to, to be using those rails. Uh, well, that's, that's something, that's, that's a beginning of what's going to happen some years uh, in the future. And let's see the other one. Within 20 years, a scientist will have discovered a cure for badness. By uh, 2015, we will have set up human communities on Mars. What do you think about that? Do you know what baldness is? Calvici. Do you know what baldness mm. is? Going. Uh -huh. Baldness is calvici? Yes. Uh, it is the condition of having a scalp wall in well in our hair. So, uh, so do you think that we have a a, a, a cure for it? Do we have a cure? Right now, have a lot of medicine natural to help that. Okay, very good, thank you. Yes, uh, we don't have it yet. We have natural uh, things that we can use to avoid that, but we don't have a, like a cure, a specific cure to, to that, for that. 
And we have the other one. Let's see what happened with this. By the uh, 2015, we will have set up human communities on Mars. Uh, do you think that it is possible to, uh, or is happening now or what? Have you been uh, following the news? I think that it's possible. Actually, there's a dome under Europe and there are people training for the travel to Mars and the travel takes two years and a half. Yes, that's true. That's true, sir. I was checking news and too. I was checking news too. And there is a company that is called SpaceX. Uh, and, and well, it is a group of people that are preparing for uh, travel to, to Mars. And it is supposed that the objective that they have is to set up communities because they won't return to or to to Earth because that's impossible. But uh, the idea or the, the main idea of these people is to set up communities there. That's going to happen soon. Uh, I was reading that it will happen in around uh, five years in the future. That's me before uh, 2050. Well, and to uh, tomorrow we'll be landing a spaceship on Mars at, at 3 p.m. national hour. But, but without, without, without uh, humans or? Without humans. It's, it's okay. only a, a, a spaceship with, with, without humans. Okay, okay. Very good. So, uh, and we can uh, discuss right now this. Uh, will, we use will to predict future events or situation, okay? Uh, in this case, you want to predict something. Will is used for that, to, to say something that can happen in the future. Uh, and we also can say things that cannot happen in the future. So in this case, we're going to use will uh, for something or, uh, I mean, to, to, to uh, as a way to uh, affirm or uh, confirm that something uh, could happen in the future, or we can use want to say that something uh, may not happen in the future. Uh, also, we use future continues to predict uh, ongoing events or actions. And here we have an example of, uh, of the structure that it says will plus be plus living, okay? That's the way that we do it. Also, we have a, the use of future perfect to predict actions that will be completed, complete by a, a certain point, okay? In a specific point. If we say that a, a, in the example that we have here, within 20 years, the scientists will have discovered, that means that we are certain time, in a specific time, or when an action will be completed, okay? So those are the ways that we have for it. Uh, I will stop sharing right now. And I will ask you, do you have any questions for me about the platform? Because tomorrow we won't see a, a topic. What we're going to be checking are all the exercises that you uh, already complete on the platform. And we're going to check if you have a, some exercise that uh, may be incomplete. Uh, and we're going to try to solve it. So do you have any question for me? Mm, I don't question. No. Okay, no. thank you, sir. No. Okay, thank you. So uh, I think that's been all for tonight. And uh, thank you for being here. And tomorrow we have the last class, okay? Uh, please don't miss it, because uh, remember that you need the 80%. Uh, it's been a pleasure for me to be working with you guys, and I will see you tomorrow uh, for it, uh, for solving the, those exercises that haven't been completed, or uh, if you want me to explain some of the things that are uh, on the platform. 
Okay, uh, see you, blessings for all of you, and bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good Thank you, good night.